I feel like Barbara Walters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi everyone, Hi. Paul here with my good friend Denise. Hi. And we are at the Democratic headquarters in Seaside, California. Tell them what we're doing. We're going to be painting the new vice president and the new president in 2021. We're doing this because we need change in this country. And we happen to be lucky enough to have our studio, Open Ground Studios, right next door to the Democratic Center for Change. And we have been collaborating over the last several years, actually. When the Democrat Center for Change decided they wanted to have a mural on their window, they came to us and asked. And so Paul and I are doing this. And this, is, this is his design. Why do you think it is so important for people to vote for Biden Harris? Because we have no other choice. Yes. At this election, at this time, our democracy depends on electing these two people to the White House. If we keep Donald Trump in the office, our children and their children won't have a planet to live on. I'm kind of an empathetic person and you know so when people around me are in pain I I feel them and it's not like I'm saying I'm spe some kind of special you know empath or whatever but there is a lot of pain yes. in this country yes. right now that has surfaced because of the leadership and we cannot survive another four years of that we just can't america has never been perfect of course but it has always felt like it was moving towards improvement but the last four years we have backpedaled so far the leadership in the white house has not been leadership Ooh. it has been the biggest example of bullying that we've ever seen yeah. in anyone in power, ever. Yeah. Not yeah. even just the president. Blatant bullying, which has allowed people who have inner trauma and inner um, anger and their situation to, um, he's, he's modeling hate. Sometimes leadership comes with a title and sometimes leadership comes with a visionary. Mm -hmm. And a true leader is someone who is a visionary before they become someone in power. And Donald Trump has never, ever been a visionary besides what can he do to get rich? What can he do to have power? <laughs> Our hero! To me, he's like the, like the human manifestation of just the ego. And we all have an yeah. ego, yeah. but... That seems to be all that he is, yeah. and it's brought that it's brought that out in people. I think, like to a degree that I've never seen before. It's scary. I think what his administration has brought out in everybody else, you know, it's like removing him is important, and that has to yeah. happen. But it's a bigger change that is needed nationwide because yes. what is it that allowed that to happen in the first place? Yeah. I mean, how? Yeah. How could we have ever elected someone right. like that? It, it's going to take a lot to undo. Yeah. We've had issues for a long time yeah. in this country. Yep. And the fact that the Republican Party, the entire Republican Party in the House and in the Senate has allowed one man to override the rule of law and to override everything that has been precedent prior to this, it says something has been deeply wrong there as well. One of the things that I've been at least somewhat uh, hopeful about is with the Black Lives Matter movement and with this election, that we have the possibility of becoming something we've never been before. And it's going to rely on the Republicans in this country who also agree that the corruption that Donald Trump has brought to that White House is unacceptable. What's good for the country should be everyone's top priority, and it's just not right now. The minority groups are the ones who are hurt the most because they are the easiest targets for the people. It is very much a bullying situation. You always want to push the people down who you see as being beneath you somehow. So to me, we have to elect these two if we believe that Black Lives Matter and the immigrants matter and the transgender people matter. And it's going to be an uphill battle. Yeah. I mean, he 
even after they're elected, we are going to have to stay strong and clear about what we want our country to be. There is no we the people in Donald Trump's world. No, it's all None. Uh, and and uh, there's uh, been no we the people in Mitch McConnell's control over the Senate yep. and control over every possible bill. There are people who are dead because we picked the wrong president last time. I tell you, it's making me anxious. I can't paint straight. <laughs> Painting Kamala Harris in a large format is probably one of the highlights of my year. Yeah. Is being able to see this amazing, strong, beautiful woman in a position that she could change our history, change our future. Mm -hmm. And I'll say this too, as someone who had other candidates who I I was more excited about than Joe Biden. I'll be completely honest about that during the initial phase of this process. Yep, me too. For me, painting this as a way to just say I am all in. It's not about just what excites me at this point, it's about what we have to do for our country. What's one thing that you do like about Joe Biden? Anything that you've heard about him, about his past, about his policies, about his personality? What have you, what have, what have you liked to you heard? Well, one thing I like about him is that, and I heard this on the at the convention last night from the other candidates, talking about how he is just a very decent human being, how during the debates... Um, yeah, I love that with Cory Booker. Yes, they would yeah. go to commercial, and then Joe was, you know, very, just decent to everybody and encouraging, and not, not at all what you would expect from Trump. That's for sure. Right. So I, I like that. I like the idea of like restoring some dignity to that office. Yeah. When Donald Trump was in his debates with Hillary Clinton, he was a child. He was like yeah. a bully little child sticking his tongue out behind her back. And how could any educated person decide that that was a, an appropriate behavior for someone to have the highest office in life? <laughs> I know I cannot wait to hear um, Harris debate Pence. Oh I feel like she's just going to wipe the floor with them. I mean, Trump wants to delay the election. He yeah. wants to make it impossible for the American people to vote. He wants to close down the post office. That sounds to me like somebody who is pretty afraid of losing. Well, we're all done. What do you think? <laughs> it was so awesome getting to work on this this week with you. Thank you for the opportunity with Open Ground Studios being right next door to the Democratic headquarters. It was like a perfect fit. Yeah, we've been collaborating since the last election. So when they called to say, we think we want to have a painting on the window. What do you think? Can we do that? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Yeah, definitely. And I thought it was really cool just to be able to put our own artistic spin yeah. on the situation. And I think that that's a good challenge for all of you artists out there too, especially those of you who have the same political leanings as us. Put your paintbrush where your vote is. Make some art that expresses your point of view because honestly, I think that's something that we do better than you. We should do it. <laughs> Yeah, art, art is definitely the best way to not only express some feelings that you just can't really find the right words for, and I felt for the first time hopeful that maybe something can change and that these beautiful people can help make that change happen. But it won't happen unless you go vote! Vote! <laughs> vote. Thanks, vote! Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye!